it's your girl Manit Meeks and I am back with more The Terror. If you're enjoying the series or anything else I got on my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'm here, you're here, let's be here together. I am loving this show. So much that I'd rather watch this than play games right now. Even with They Are Billions out, I'd rather watch, I need to know the end of this. I need to know the end of this. So, last time on The Terror, it was that It was a damn fire. First of all, um, good sir. I love good sir so much. Oh my gosh. Good sir had figured out that the canned food was spoiling because of how it was packaged. And then you hear in, in the beginning how, well, they went for the lowest bidder and, and they wondered why they bid so low. It's because all their food was going bad. Shiesty, shiesty, shiesty. And I did hear that that is what actually happened because they found the the rescue party they sent um, found the ships and it had most of their food on board. So they were trying to figure out why would they leave the food. The food was spoiled and they were having lead poisoning. So, um, to keep the spirits lifted and to make sure that people just weren't disgruntled and will just lose their damn mind. Um, what is his name? James Fitz... James Fitz James? I think his name? Uh, so... Fitzjames decided to throw a a party. I don't know what they called it. A, a ball, a masquerade, a cabaret, whatever they called it. He decided to have, um, like, to use some of their stuff to set up for a party because, A, they were getting ready to walk, like, take the long walk to try and, and find some help or reach land or something because they were stuck out there. Nobody was coming. They couldn't leave. The boats wouldn't leave. Nothing was unfreezing or thawing. So they were just stuck. So they were going to make the walk. So to help with using the provisions, they threw a party. And it did lift the spirits somewhat. But, um, old, old Chicky Poo, like, old Chicky Poo was doing the most. And, uh, she cut off her tongue so she can attach herself to the Tungbok? To the Tungbok? I think they call it the Tungbok. So that it can be controlled and not just outright kill everybody. So she cut off her tongue and she made it back to them while they were having their party. And the damn doctor, not good sir, not my lovely good sir, the stupid doctor, the mean doctor, literally lost his mind from the lead poisoning and like trapped everybody inside and lit the whole fucking thing on fire. I was like, what the French toast in my dog? Like what? What? And that's literally what happened. He lit, he lit the tents on fire by lighting himself on fire. So I'm not sure how many people lived. And luckily Hickey was outside. I don't think it was like peeing or something. He was doing something. And Hickey had to like stab people because they were trying to get through there. Oh, it was, it was a mess. It was a mess. And Cozier, 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 he finally came out of his um, detox from the alcohol. And he literally jumped in to be like hey you guys what's going on and wait we're trapped there's a fire so i mean everybody had bronchitis because it was a fire dog it was a fire lord jesus it was a fire like it, it it shocked me to my i just didn't expect that to happen so now they're trying to figure out what to do next if they i don't even know if they can recover at this point because they're, they're going to be walking regardless you know what i mean they're going to be walking so on that note I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the shenanigans going. And it's a commercial. When the ship sets sail, be sure you're aboard. <laughs> Here you are. Huh. Two in a month time to first master, Mr. Hickey. Next up, sit forward. That is not Mr. Hickey. Some of what these men have packed is impractical at best, right? It would, yes. I guess it's time then. To think things through. Oh boy, they are hitting it big time. If we're to perish, we prefer to do it here, under English blankets and smelling English coal. Not out there in that void. That's reward enough. Good lord, are you sure, dog? Bring your farewells to the others then. The men are behind you, sir. Very much behind you. I like him too. He's like right up there with good sir. He is such a good guy. 
They look cool as hell with those glasses, those goggles on. Why did he get on the boat? I don't understand. I need to... Why did Hickey do that? Why did Hickey do that? Oh my gosh. You see me? I'm like, what are they doing? It's stuck. What the? Why the fuck is Hickey there? Hickey's not even pulling shit. He's walking in the back. How are you faring? Oh my gosh, I just want to hug them. I know these guys are playing fictional men. Actually, I, I don't know I just, how any of us could be well, really, with what's I just, can you just hug him? He was in the beginning, but oh, good it, sir, it such a sweetheart. He just wants to help loud. you. Say it, honey. He's Try there. Well, Sit well, down with him. His mutton chops. I just. With that hair and this hair, we can have some cute babies. I'm just saying. Good sir, I'm just saying. Some of them are my friends. I was, I was screaming, help them, help them. But my mouth is too oh, dry to wet the surface. Honey. Them. It's okay. Them. You guys are in a shitty situation. I feel like I need to talk to them. Oh, I just, can you just hug them? Sometimes he's, yeah. Just squeeze him. He needs a, just love on him. Good sir. Rub your good sirness against him. No porno. Rub your good sir. Just, just. Sometimes you just, you, I and. Mm. Men cannot continue to eat these tins. Uh, tell him about him eating meat. To tell him. Tell him. I can't believe she's still there. He's like, bitch, you won't let her, you won't let her eat it? Yeah. Yeah. That fake hickey is, it's a, it's a smarty. Why are they making him do things? He is sickly. He's going to die soon and I don't want him to. I do have a question. I'm sorry to leave you. What's easy if Mr. Good Sir knew you? What? Commercial. What? Oh my gosh, you know what? I bet you they found the hunting party. Oh, not the hunting party. I bet you they found the, the, the party that went before them. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh man. <gasps> Those faces? No, no, no. Those are fucking heads. Where's the rest of them? You're right. Oh my gosh. All he us? wanted was an adventure. With James? The side with the side? Like, as, as mean as I was to him in the beginning, I can't be anything but, like, sad for him now. Look at them. Buddies, your friends. All these men deserve medals in gold. Yes, they do, but they didn't. They it's cause that makes me sad. That makes me sad. It's clothes, past arms for Marines and officers. But I just don't. What the fuck is Hickey doing there? The fake Hickey. The Ficky. What the fuck is Ficky doing there? Understand why I do too, but I don't trust Vicky. Do I? The reason is um, some of those names are fun. Good job. Oh my God, Doc, Mr. Good Sir, I just love him so much. I know y'all are sick of me saying this, but I'm just. What is that? Did you see anything at the top of that picture? That was the last picture. Oh, I just want to cry with him. I literally am like about to cry with him. He just needs to. Oh. Oh. I need Mr. Good Sir to not cry. I need him to not cry. I need him to not cry. I need him to not cry. Oh, that's right. Oh. 
He needs somebody, something. Oh. Oh my gosh, Mr. Good Sir. I know you guys have to be sick of me with Mr. Good Sir. I'm sorry, I, just, I can't. He makes me so happy. He was sweet, he just needed to lay down, he just needed a hug. He needed to, he just needed. Uh, I need to hold a command meeting this morning with Captain Fitz James and the lieutenants. I'll let you gather them. Oh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I love Jobs Hut! I'm telling you, he is like reaching almost good sir status. This poor little head, baby. An emergency measure, if you will. But one that is wholly sincere. Who? To my knowledge, this has never been done. But then, much of what we are now doing. Are you about to be promoted? Them, so you should be pointing at the guy. Over this. Someone on this expedition has earned. Our trust, respect, and who? Is it you? I'm looking like is it you? A place at this table. Oh! Oh! It is Jobson! Congratulations! Sir. Yay! Oh! Toast to my second. You've done a hell of a job, and I'm so, I just, I hope this is not a real person. I always wonder if these real, like, if these names came from actually, like, the, the list of people who went out. Enough men are showing a sign of me. It's not scurvy. Dr. Good says Dr. Good says lying to you. No, he's not. He's it's being lying. truthful, and nobody's listening. Don't talk it's bad about Good Sir Ficky. And not only about this. Ficky. What happened to Morphin? And when that moment comes... We need an officer. Don't you clear. dare fucking touch Jobson. He... <laughs> I'm not made of that. You can be whatever you need he, to be. I mean, Hickey has... Hickey. Ficky has a point. But... Survival is a I don't understand business. why he put himself on this voyage. But we do what we have to do. We reconfigure. We reinvent. We rearrange. Let me be your lieutenant in a new arrangement. Let us get out together. Let me tell you something. Let's put our hope in our own hands. Pause at 3832. This actor? Fail. Fail. I just had to remark on how much how how good he is holy shit because i loved him not in chernobyl like you know i felt for him i wanted I, I just wanted more for him and in this i fucking can't stand him like that's how you know it's a mark of a good actor my god let me just go ahead and get back into this all right 38 32 sorry because what i have to next. tell you next it's gonna stamp out most of the hope you've been oh with. shit dog I don't trust fucking hickey fucking fake ficky I fucking hate him oh <gasps> people Stay here. fucking ficky the captain said so didn't he It ruins your fucking plan, doesn't it, Ficky? My name is Lieutenant John Irving. I don't like, I, I didn't like him as like, what he did, but I don't, he's like, the. Oh, he's friendly. At least he be trying to help, like, assist. You, I'm nom 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 nom. Thank you. Oh my gosh, they are so like this. The type of shit that got the countries, like the continents, ran over because they were just so 
friendly and so helpful. I should not be drinking on an empty stomach. I care. Don't you dare! <laughs> His they left him? No! Why would they do? You stay here. I'm so mad at Ficky right now. My mouth is dry. I had to think about that for a second. I, had, I literally am still coming to grips. As much as I didn't like that dude, they had, the, what, what is Ficky's whole game? Like, what is his game? I don't, like, I don't understand. It would behoove you to let these people help you so you can get to another land to do whatever you plan on doing. Like, is it, Well, I do know, well, I, I, I would like to know if the people whose names they're using in the show, if those were the people that were actually on the list of the ship, or did they make up those names as well? Like, was there actually a hickey on board and they turned his story into this? Because, you know, they, they, they're taking liberties. This has happened such a long time ago. They didn't have this, so they're making a story out of out of the people that they have. Is that the type of thing that they're doing? But like this story, they have this guy. Like fuck, Ficky. What in the hell? Oh my gosh. Like, and I have two babies. Like, honestly, I have three babies: Cozier, um, Jobson, and Good Sir. Just they warm my cockles. You know what I'm saying? They they warm me. And not to mention um, Fitzpatrick, which is, you know, Ed Muir Tully. I'm loving his character as well. He was like, oh, we're going to go on some adventure. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And shit's not working out the way that it planned. And you know what he's doing? He is relinquishing command to someone who has been in desperate situations before. He is, he is heeding his expertise. And I appreciate that. Because at this point, they know it's dire. And I'm just like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna be fine. 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 So on that note, guys, thank you for hanging with me. And by the time this is up, I believe I'll have my giveaway up. So just remember to enter in my giveaway. You get a lovely, lovely pop Funko Pop figure that is worth ninety five dollars currently on Pop Price Guys. So if you want to flip it, you can. And then it's gonna be a mystery box full of stuff and hopefully the winner will enjoy it so that link will also be in the description box below just enter in you never know you could win it's completely random good luck and on that note guys thanks for hanging with me and i will catch you in the next one bye